after all these years, you know, because this is your third book, you're talking about him. Is there something, is there a feel? what feeling do you get talking about Jim now? Like maybe someone like me who doesn't, didn't experience him. Is it, do you still feel like he's here? Is it, uh, has it waned on you after all these years? I mean, I guess, how do you feel about your friend all these wow. years later still writing about him? Yeah, sure. I mean, I occasionally dream about him. I, I had one not too long ago where he was back and he was dressed in a, like an Armani suit and wanted to play, you know, wanted to play music. And that felt really good. Jim was, uh, besides being an incredible wild man, the, the Lizard King, he had a real uh, vulnerable side. And uh, uh, there was a sweetness there that, you know, most people don't know. But, you know, in rehearsal, when we were hanging out, he, he, he was open. Uh, you know, he got caught by uh, uh, alcoholism and... Uh, you know, we didn't have substance abuse clinics and we didn't know he had a disease. So mm. we didn't know what to do. I, I mean, I was kind of tortured. I knew there was an elephant in the room, but I couldn't define it. But, uh, you know, we have his music and uh, it's such a gift. Feeds me all the time. It feeds me too. Honestly, it's a, a connection that I have with my, my dad still who passed away eight, eight years ago. He's the one who got me into the doors. Oh, so this, I mean, he's smiling from above right now watching. Uh, this That's be beautiful, beautiful. But I want to wrap up because uh, I know you're, you're short on time and this has been an honor. No, I'm okay. I like uh, this. Go on. Thank you. 